Hello everyone, so there may be an issue that you have noticed, maybe some of you have even fixed it, but this comes from when we are saving characters to our save files, and they are actually text characters that are cast as another kind. So let's go ahead and load up a character. The Endkeeper, who is in this next part, is actually a text character because Endkeeper doesn't actually have his own assets. He's using the man sprites from the generic character. And there he is. So there's the Endkeeper. Now, if we open up the character configuration asset, we can see that Endkeeper is nowhere in here. So we know that Endkeeper is actually a text character, but he's coming on screen as a sprite, of course, because we're casting him as generic, which is a sprite sheet character. But if I go ahead and choose to save this file right now, let's go ahead and save it to save slot 5, and then let's go ahead and close out. If we come back in and try to load that file, we will encounter an error. So let's load, and then load number 5. And we get an error. So if we look at the console, we can see null reference exception, object reference not set to the instance of an object, and this is coming from sort characters. And all the way at the beginning, you can tell that it is, it is not saved the right way because we created text character in Keeper when he is supposed to be a sprite character. And this is happening when we are applying the history state data, uh, specifically our character data. For each character data that's recorded, we go ahead and we get the character from the character manager and create it if it doesn't exist. So we're looking for it based off of the character name, which for this character is Innkeeper. However, Innkeeper is being recognized as a text character this go around, and so it's creating a text character and then none of the following logic actually works. So we encounter an error, when instead we need to be saving this character and its casting type. To show how this works, if I go ahead and check if this is the innkeeper, I'll replace his name with innkeeper as generic, and it should be just fine. So then I can launch it, load, and load number 5, and we get everything back where it should be. So we just need to make sure that with our characters, we also save who they are cast as if they are being cast as any type of character. That way we can reload them appropriately. So in our character manager, inside of the create character function, this is what's going on. We get the character info based off the character name which is passed in, which could have the casting information such as innkeeper as generic. So when we look at that, we are getting the casting name, we're finding out if the character is being cast as anything and we're caching that in a result, and we return that result to be processed in a later line. The processing comes when we create the character from the information. So at this point, we do have the casting information. So if we look at that function, then we can see that we have our info, which is being passed in to the different character types that are being created. When we're initially getting that information, we're getting the character type stored in the config by getting the config from whoever they're being cast as. So we know that the casting name is part of this result here, but the casting name is not actually being passed into any of the character creations because we no longer need it at this point until we start working with save files. Then we need that back in. So we need to make sure that we just pass in any sort of casting information to the characters. That way they maintain who they have originated from. So if we look at the abstract character class, we have a name, which is the actual name of the character, a display name, which is what is shown on screen, but we can also save the casting name in here, which is where they came from and got their properties from. So public string casting name equals nothing. And it could very well be nothing, but we want to make sure that we keep track of that if it is something in particular. So that way we can cast them as the same type when we reload the game. So in create character, after we've created the character and done all their casting and everything, let's make sure that we set that value. So let's just see if they have been cast as anything. If info.castingName is not equal to info.name, then we know that they've been cast as something and we can say character.castingName equals info.castingName. And now the character is keeping track of who they were cast as.
Now, if we come to the character data as part of the history system, underneath of character name, let's also give ourselves a new value for public string casting name to let us know what character this was cast from. And let's come down to where we capture the data. So in capture, entry.characterName gets set to the name, and entry.castingName should equal character.castingName. So now what we can do is we can try to create the character and handle it properly if the character is using casting information. So let's remember there can be two cases here. We can have characters that do not use casting information, in which case we should try to create them if they don't exist based off of their name alone. Otherwise, if they are using casting information, we should try to see if they exist first based off of their name. If they don't, then we should create them based off of their casting information, because cast characters are saved in the dictionary using their name, not the full casting string. So there needs to be a distinction there. So let's start by checking out the casting info. So if character data dot casting name is not equal to, actually let's start if it equals uh, string dot empty. This would be for someone like Stella or Raylene because they are configured inside of the character configuration asset and they use no sort of casting. So otherwise, for our innkeeper or other generic characters, then we know that they should use uh, they should use the casting info. So let's go ahead and take this line to create the character if they don't exist. Right up above, I am going to say character character equals null, just so we have a cached value. And we'll just reference character inside of there. So either way, we are getting a character if they're not using casting info. Otherwise, let's go ahead and try to do the same thing, but let's not create them if they don't exist. If they don't, then we know that they have casting info and we need to create them a specific way and not just off of their name alone. So otherwise, let's see, if we tried to get the character and the character still equals null, then let's try to get their casting info. Then let's say character equals character manager dot instance dot create character. And we need to create them based off the casting string, which we can define up above. String casting name equals a certain string which is made up of three different parts. The first part is obviously going to be the character name. So character data dot character name. The second part or the third is going to be who they're being cast as. So that would be the character data dot casting name. And the second part would be that little string which would be the as, oh good lord, which would be as, but we already have this defined inside of our character manager. So in the character manager, let's just make sure that the character casting ID is set to public. That way we can access it and we don't have to hard code it again. So let's do this. Character manager dot casting ID. And now we have the casting string for this character to create them properly. So let's give the casting name to create the character. And now, no matter what, we should have the proper character created. And now, let's go ahead and try again. Let's go ahead and go to load, and load up this screen with the innkeeper. And there he is. Looks pretty good. And we can go back in history, everything looks fine. Now let's go back home and load the one with the monk as well. So all of them are working just fine. So with that, we've cleaned up that issue with the cast characters not loading correctly in the save files. So now all the characters should be loading fine, no matter what type they are.